Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Revenge OS version 3.2, the latest to one, the December build on this Redmi Note, which is version Android version 10. So guys, let's begin. So guys, as you can see here, the Android version here is 10. The security patch level you get here is the December 5th, 2020, and the kernel here is the long tongue by lab kernel i don't know what kernel here is this but this is something a new kernel available here this is the settings panel available here going to the system settings you get to see the gesture then system navigation gestures you can just change it from here and as you saw that the gestures here are working smoothly absolutely fine so yeah that is great then again going to the gestures you get to see these three finger swipe for the screenshot option available here and the long screenshot option is also available so that is great and you get to see the Xiaomi parts and everything so everything here is just the same then and the buttons these are the button customization you can enable on screen navigation bar but without that only the navigation bar has been enabled so no need to do that then you get to see the invert navigation buttons and home home button and long press double tap customization everything here is just available <laughs> then this is the as usual normal settings panel available here i'll just not show you everything if you want to see the detailed video on revenge os 3.2 the previous build like uh, i reviewed it around for three to four three months back there will be a card up available here you can just watch that video three to four months back i have just reviewed that in detail so you can watch that video then in the security the fingerprint sensor here is working but as you know my fingerprint sensor is broken so it's not working for me then in the display you, these are all just the same options going to the battery life i will just talk about the battery life here the battery life here is average as you can see 1 hour and 17 minutes of screen on time i charged it around 85 percent so, so yeah for 12 percent of battery drain 1 hour and 17 minutes of screen on time is just great so yeah battery life here is uh, great i must say and the phone idle here as you saw was around 4 hour and 22 minutes phone idle time so yeah this is battery life here is average and it's it's great then going to the home screen this is the home screen just the pixel launcher available here i thought there must be a new ui available but the new ui here on the revenge os is available for only android 11 so i am waiting for the android 11 build because it is having a new ui custom made ui so yes we are just waiting for that and excited for that okay then talking about the camera here you get to see the google camera go version and is working absolutely fine but the google camera other google cameras like the 7.3 here is just not working but if you want a stable g cam then you can use the 4.1 version which is available officially on the play store so you can just download directly from there then talking about the safety net here the safety net status has passed but i'll just show it to you okay as you can see here the safety net status has passed so no worries with the safety net and then internet uh, apps will be running sorry the banking apps will be running absolutely fine and uh, in the settings i'll just show you that the device has certified so the play product certification has is certified device has been certified so that's great then talking about the performance here the geekbench scores here are a little bit less so the geekbench scores here as you can see is 288 single core and 619 for the multiple score core score so the scores are not, not that impressive but yeah this is the score and talking about the overall performance also performance here is just great as usual android 10 rom performance you can expect it not that great uh, one like this android 7 if you want a great performance or a great battery life rom then go with the android 7 rogat roms or the 95 pi roms but for the android 10 you will just get the normal performance not the best performance so if you want the best you can use the nougat roms so yeah the performance here is just average as usual as every android 10 rom then talking about the internet speed test just we'll just see to it as you saw as you can see this app opening time this is a problem here on this rom so let's see as you can see here the internet is just not an issue i have a 50 mbps stable connection and we are getting 48 mbps of internet speed here the download speed and let's see the upload one 
so as you can see the download we got 48.5 and the upload we got is 30.4 mbps so yeah internet speed test here is just not an issue but uh, the mobile data here is just not working i'm just telling you mobile data here is just not working we'll be talking about that in the bugs section so yeah then talking about the quick settings wi-fi here is just working absolutely fine mobile data here as i told you is just not working mobile mobile data is just not working bluetooth flashlight and everything here is just working fine but as you can see that delay yeah this is a problem with each and everything we'll talking about the in the bugs and problems section so just wait and the descript in the description there are the timestamps so just don't skip the video you can if you want to skip you can just directly go to the timestamp then uh, the airplane mode the screencast hotspot dark theme and everything here is just available and it's working absolutely fine you get to see the screen recorder also available here so no worries with this with that you get to see the screen recorder app and built available here so yeah the screen recorder here is just working absolutely fine then talking about the calls here there is no issue with the call and call recorder here is also available no issues with the calls call recorder is also available here so guys if you still haven't subscribed to the channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and uh, there will be the name of the telegram group here you can join the telegram group and the also the link will be in the description so you can join the telegram group from there so yeah that is it now let's talk about the bugs here like the most important thing here is the mobile data and uh, mobile data here is just not working I'll just show it to you. I have the Vodafone Idea SIM VIL as you can see here and the mobile data here is just not working there. It's just not working as you can see up I am getting E sign. So yeah the internet here is just not working. Internet will be an issue if you want to use this ROM then you will not be able to use your mobile data mobile data here is just not working for the vi sim and you cannot expect it from the adult sim also so yeah that was that bug and then talking about the another bug here as you can see i'm tap double tapping and it takes a few s around two seconds so as you can see this is a bug present here the lock screen bug and it takes around two seconds to respond so as you saw that So this is a very big issue on this ROM I must say okay then yeah this was just it this is a problem when like the double tap to wake just takes a bit of time to just wake it up and as you can see this time it just got in red <laughs> yeah that is it and the random reboot bug and uh, that stuck at boot animation bugs are just solved so yeah that is great okay so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye